Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be guiding you through a really gentle six minute flow. In this routine, we will be working on opening up the shoulders and the upper body. And let's begin by holding onto our shoulders with our hands and doing five big circles in front of you. Making sure not to hold your breath while performing these stretches. And then we'll repeat the exercise, drawing big circles behind you. Beautiful. Now take a big breath in, raise your hands to the sky. I want you to draw your hand to the opposite shoulder and apply a light pressure on your elbow. It can be very easy to draw your head forward in this stretch, but I want you to be really cautious of your neck and just focus on having a really neutral spine and then switching around this stretch to the opposite hand to opposite shoulder it can be a bit of a difficult one to explain but <laughs> once you get it you should feel a nice stretch in your arms and shoulders next we will be doing a beautiful tree pose so hands out like a scarecrow, nice and tall, shoulders back and down. Breathing into this stretch, may not look like much, but you should feel pretty nice. Then go ahead and interlace your fingers. Rolling the shoulders down and back, opening up the chest. If you can't quite reach your hands in together, that is totally fine. You can use a bit of material or a towel. And just hold on to either side and eventually you will be able to interlock your hands. Next, we are doing a twisted arm stretch. So one hand goes underneath the other and your palms meet together. Just breathing naturally here and swapping over the arms when you're ready. Beautiful. My camera died, so I had to repeat this exercise after the sun went down. But we are going to come to our hands and knees. Give you a neutral spine. I'm going to take a deep breath in, and the stretch is called Thread the Needle. So you're going to bring one shoulder towards the ground, and the opposite hand is going to reach out in front of you. Making sure that your weight is evenly distributed on both knees. It's a really nice side stretch and shoulder stretch. Repeating on the opposite side when you're ready.
Good job. When you're ready, we're going to come back up with a neutral spine and then enter into a puppy pose. So chest to the floor, hands looking out or down. My spine is quite flexible, so it's absolutely fine if your pose looks completely different to mine. It's just about how it feels and I hope you get a really nice stretch out of it. After this, we will meet in a child's pose and you are able to stay for as long as you like or you can mark this as the end of the routine. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you like this flow and make sure to subscribe.